Now that we have like this tele teleportation area, I want to show you another component that we can use that is teleportation an anchor. So for that, I'm going to create here another element that is going to be um, a cube, right? And then I'm going to make it a little bit like uh, bigger in this sense, uh, a little bit like this, and more like this. Yeah, and now it's going to be there. And then I'm going to assign, I don't know, like uh, this green color, right? And now we have like our element around here. And then I can add a new component to this element. And it's going to be teleportation anchor. So this teleportation anchor, as you can see here, it just has like this collider. This is the, the space. And if I tele teleport here, I'm just going to stay there. I cannot move around. It's just, it's just going to teleport me and it's going to attach me to just one point because I cannot move around. So let's see. So I'm here and then I can teletransport around here. And then if I, if you can see, I can interact with that one. My Raycast told me that I can interact with that. So I jump here. So now if I try to go to another spot in this, in this space, I cannot because I'm just anchor to this specific point. So it's really useful if you are like creating like, I don't know, like a project that you want just people to stare to something and just like checking around and they cannot interact with the floor. They are just like looking at something that so that's a good way to to use it like it's, it's uh like for example in the co in our class in the course we create like a staircase so we were like just jumping in this staircase so that's really a way a really nice way to use it or something like that now i'm gonna show you another way to move around that is not just like a teletransportation or like jumping through time it's more like the natural way of just like uh, move around with the joystick, like just like continuous movement. Our locomotion system again, right? And then we can go here to add component and then we are going to type continuous, continuous move provider. But remember that it should be device based, not action based, device based, right? So now we have like this one. And then we need to tell this script which controllers do we want to use. So for example, I'm going to say that I want to use my right hand because now I cannot move with my right hand, right? So I'm going to say like, I just going to attach one controller. And then he's going to tell me like, hey, which controller? So I'm going to go to the XR origin and then I'm going to drag my right hand and drop it there. And now I can move continuously with my right hand here there is the move speed right uh, so i can change the like how fast I, I want to move around so let's check so now i have my right hand right so i'm just using the joystick and now i can move around with my hand and if i turn with my head i just move in around the space it's a little bit dizzy, be careful because I'm getting dizzy if I like just move around. And yeah, you can get like motion sick really easy with this kind of movement because now I'm moving too much. And then also we can like, a, instead of snap and turn, we can continuously turn. So there is, we can add another component. And there is this script here that is continuous turn provider device base. So we can check that one and said also that we want to use our, our right hand, right? So uh, we can just like say one controller and then it's going to tell us which controller we are going to say like the right hand controller and, and that's it now. But we need to check also our snap and turn that is not uh, also in the right hand because then we are going to start like snapping and it's going to be a like a mess, right? So we can like just eliminate this one from here. So I can just grab this one, like select it and 
say, no, I don't want to snap and turn with my right hand. I just want to continuously. If I go inside again and I check my right hand, I can move and then I can just like, if I go to the right or to the left, now I'm turning. 